Yep. You're not dreaming. It actually happened. The Chicago Bears just lost on a last second 52 yard tipped pass, turn into a catch, touchdown, Hail Mary. That just happened. But we got to talk about it. So, what is going on, y'all? Foss Force all back at it with another video talking, of course, my NFL here to talk about the Chicago Bears. And yeah, here to break down the Bears' loss to the Commanders. By a final score of 18 to 15. All right, a lot of places to start, but let's start with this, okay? Before that Hail Mary pass, I feel like a lot of Bears fans and a lot of people in general thought the Bears were going to win that game and, you know, wrap it up. And I was going to come on here in the post game recap video that I'm doing right now, and I kid you not, I was going to come on here and ask, and I was going to say, the Bears did not deserve to win that game. I'll take it. I'll take the dub. I'm not going to complain about a win ever. But they did not deserve to win that game. And guess what? That's exactly what happened. The NFL gods, the football gods said, you don't deserve to win this football game with that offensive performance. And they didn't. So in a way, I don't want to say I'm glad the Bears lost. But the win would have been nice, but it would have given a false sense of his, of hope. And you know what? It's just, it's just frustrating because even if we win that football game, there was a lot, a lot wrong with this team. And I just talked about how I'm never going to complain about a win, and I won't. But man, oh man, when you're starting quarterback, Throws for 36 passing yards through three quarters. Do you really want to win games that way? Do you really want that to be the formula? Especially, you know, with the Bears, which has pretty much been the MO here, and we've been trying to get away from that. So to me, that was the frustrating part more than anything as well, was the fact that it was, you know, the typical Bears bend on break defense, our offense can't do anything. We're keeping uh, us in the game. And, you know, we were eventually going to win at the end. That's what, you know, we thought was going to be the case, but it didn't. So, yeah, um, that was the first thing I wanted to talk about was the fact that I really was going to come on here and say the Bears did not deserve to win that game. And guess what? They didn't. The next thing to talk about here is... I severely underestimated the commander's defense. I'm a man of my word, people. I will come on here and eat crow and admit when I'm wrong. And boy, was I wrong about the commander's defense. They routinely got to Caleb Williams over and over and over again. Now, the offensive line for the Chicago Bears was complete garbage, was pathetic, and they deserve a ton of blame. But I'm not going to shy away from giving the commander's defense credit. I said in my pregame video that this commander's defense was just not good. All right. Now, again, our offensive line is also not good. So that also played a part in it. But I got to give credit where credit is due. And the commander's defense really showed up and showed out, man. I, I still can't believe this. I'm looking at the bear stat sheet. It, it is ridiculous that Caleb Williams had 36 passing yards through three quarters. No doubt about it. Today, in this game, you cannot argue that Caleb Williams, you know, was better than Jay Daniels. He wasn't. Like, it wasn't even close. Jay Daniels severely outplayed Caleb Williams. Now, does that mean for the next 5, 10 years, Jay Daniels is going to be the better quarterback? No, it's a one-game sample. It's just what happened in one game. I'm not projecting it for the future. I'm just saying in this game, Jaden Daniels severely outplayed Caleb Williams. Jaden Daniels went 21 for 38 for 326 passing yards. Had that touchdown at the end on the Hail Mary. Terry McLaurin, who I did not think would go off like he did today. Five catches for 125 receiving yards. Brian Robinson, 16 carries for 65 rushing yards. That looked like a real NFL box score. The Bears box score looked uh, garbage, okay? Uh, our highest receiver, receiver was 
Roman Doomsday with 41 receiving yards. Caleb threw on the day 131, and a bunch of that, more than half or three-fourths of it was in the fourth quarter. The only guy that was productive today for us was DeAndre Swift, who had 18 carries for 129 rushing yards. So when I tell you the Bears did not deserve to win that game, they did not deserve to win that game. Jaden Daniels outplayed Caleb Williams. The Commanders outplayed the Chicago Bears. It was just that the Bears' defense was bending but not breaking, keeping the Bears in it, and the offense was able to get through late, get a touchdown, put us in position to win that game until the Hail Mary happened. So to me, the biggest takeaway for me in this game is I am really worried about this Bears offensive line when it comes to decent teams on our schedule. Because, yeah, you can beat up on, you know, the Panthers and, you know, the Jaguars and, and, and lesser teams that don't have as much talent. But, man, if this offensive line is going to fold like a cheap tent against, you know, even a decent defense, and we got the division games coming up, it is bad news for Caleb in this offense. Really bad news. I just thought the coaching today was not great. The play calling was abysmal. I mean, what are you doing on third down? I know what they got. I ended up getting the touchdown at the end, but third down, running Caleb Williams and then running Caleb Williams again on the next play. You're running an offensive lineman on a crucial, crucial down late in the fourth quarter. Like, just unacceptable coaching decisions here All right what are we doing i'm sorry so the bye week did not do the bears any favors they came out cold they came out with no momentum flat just completely felt like it took away all the steam we built up before the bye week so as much as it was nice to get the rest and recover and all of that it seemed like it took away our momentum and you lose a heartbreaker here now, again, plenty of season left here, four and three on the year. So the sky isn't falling down. I mean, there's other teams in a way worse position. Go ask Jets fans, all right? But I just, I, if we lost that game, but the offense was solid, was competent, and it was a close last second battle and we lose, I'm fine with it. Tip my cap to the better team. Can't lose like that when you're, you know, having a garbage offensive performance like that. Like, you can't. I'm sorry. It didn't look like an NFL offense out there. Caleb didn't play well. Shane Waldron didn't uh, coach well. Like, it was just bad all around. All right? So, to me, a lot of things to clean up here. Offensive linemen, Ryan Poles, you got to do something. You got to do something here to address the offensive line because even if they play well against the bad teams, they are not going to do well against the good teams. And we got the division games coming up, like I mentioned. So, we better take care of that. But all I got to say is, Commanders fans, you deserve credit for your team's win today, man, because they really showed up and showed out. And that defense really, really impressed me today. So I'm going to tip my cap to you guys. But yeah, tough, tough loss here for the Chicago Bears, but uh, they didn't deserve to win. I'll say that one final time. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts as always. Thanks for watching.